Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations, well, I couldn't think of a better way to ruin the new year with a game of Flappy Bird. That is right, guys. In this episode, we are going to be checking out this game. We are going to try and play a few little rounds of it. And then I'm also going to show you guys how to set this up yourself if you want to make your own custom Flappy Bird tracks. And I'll show you how I made it as well. Uh, so how about we get right into this episode? All right, so here we are at Flappy Bird. Now, I am going to hop into the seat to explain all of the game to you guys, and then after that, we'll quickly look at everything in a little bit more detail and how you can set it all up, and then we are gonna play some Flappy Bird. All right, so here we go. This is the seat right here. As you can see, it's it's pretty straightforward. You just sit inside of the seat right here. Uh, so we're gonna bring up the buttons and switches. So there are three there. The button on the farthest on the left there is what you actually use to flap. So you can see if you press it, it pushes the entire Flappy Bird way up into the air like that. You can actually kind of tilt the camera a bit more. Uh, so you can see that the bird is not really flapping like the game itself, but in order to maintain a certain height, uh, you need to tap it just like you would on your little mobile game there. So you can move it up, tap it there, go back down, tap it here. Uh, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, so the two switch, that is what turns the entire game on. But before we do that, I'm going to mention to you that there is the three switch. And that is actually a way to take the Flappy Bird out of the game so that you can reset it. Or if you want to see your pipe sequence go by and do some tests and stuff like that, you can also do that too. So if I press the three button right there, uh, you can actually see that little old Flappy Bird there, he has uh, gone back. So we can press it there, and now he's out in the playing field, and if we bring him back in again, then he won't be in the way. Uh, so you can see over there, we actually have some pipes hidden over there, so this is the best thing I'm gonna do uh, to start off before we start playing, is just show you guys the pipe sequence. So I press 2, and there you go, you can see the pipes are now rolling on by. So obviously this is when you would be flapping and trying to get out of the way. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys what the whole thing is like. So you can see there's some really tall pipes. Uh, it moves up and down. It's like an obstacle course, obviously. And eventually it'll keep rolling through. And I just kind of made this a limited length, so eventually it will stop. And there you go, that is the end of the track right there. So we can actually press the 2 key and reverse the whole thing to bring it all the way back to the beginning. Uh, so it's using a lot of pistons, obviously. Uh, I can press the 1 key here and you can see that the bird flaps like this. Now obviously it's not running into the pipes right now because... I didn't put a lot of logic into this, well I didn't put any logic at all actually, so it's really just like the physical game itself, uh, and I guess the way you know if you lost or not is if you run into one of those pipes, you will know, because I will mention right now actually that this entire creation is not welded to the ground or anything, it's extremely lag free, so of course it is going to be available on the Steam Workshop for you guys to try and have some fun with that. So that's all the mechanics there. Uh, so we can actually just kind of hop down here and we'll get a better look at this. So this is three pistons stacked on top of each other right here. And those extend, they get quite a bit of speed when you stack them. So three of them together is actually perfect for the height as well to get all the way to the top of the playing field. And now we can go over here and you can see that there is a wheel guided kind of pipe sequence here. So that is just one extremely large separate part that is attached to a piston all the way down at this end here. So you can see I actually have two pistons. Now this one is a modded piston, so it does only say 15, but I do believe it is actually 256 blocks long. So when you actually press it, uh, you can actually see the whole piston is just extending right through all the way to the game there. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Uh, this was rather interesting to make. It did take a little bit of time to to get all of the art style down as well as the functionality too. I'm really happy with these pipes here. As you can see, I outlined them all with the black line. I even put the lighting there and the shading as well. And this is just like a really cool half kind of slice there that you can put. And I painted that and it just looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, now, before we play some Flappy Bird, I'm just going to quickly show you guys what this is like on the lift and how you can design your own as well. Alright, so if you head up to the workshop, you are going to see these items available there. So this is obviously the full game right here, which is what we are taking a look at today. You can see it's... It's uh, pretty large, but like I said, totally lag-free, so you can obviously download that and play with what I have made. Uh, but you can see here, I actually have some individual pipe pieces. So we have a long one, 
This is like a medium length one, and then we also have just like a standard short one right there as well, and I mean, I guess we have the old Flappy Bird there too. I'll put that up on the Steam Workshop too, why not? Uh, so what we're going to look at though here is the Flappy Bird course. So this is the actual course uh, aside from the rest of it there. So how about we spawn in a second version of the game just like that. So there you go, we actually now have two Flappy Bird games and there's still no lag whatsoever. So we can come right over here. So this right here is the section that we're going to worry about. Uh, so obviously I've made it so that you can delete this whole thing and not worry about breaking it. Uh, so we'll just pop that right there and that is now the entire playing field detached. So I did put the uh, separate one on the workshop just in case you wanted to be able to spawn some more of those and not have a whole bunch of the actual game out. So, we now have the entire course loaded in. All we need to do now is grab a block like so, and put it up like that. So, this is actually the best thing to do, I find, is build horizontally. So, see, we want these blocks here facing up. So, we'll just quickly grab, uh, I guess, this corner right here. And I don't want to get it in the way of anything. There we go. Weld it just like that. Oh, I guess I screwed it up actually. Okay, now that it's welded properly, I can show you guys. So as you can see, this is much easier to build like this as opposed to when it's standing up like that. So we have all these pipes here. Uh, so the easiest thing to do though is you can very easily remove a pipe just by breaking one block. You put another block down and like I mentioned earlier, uh, we can go on to the uh, workshop here and grab all sorts of these tunnels. And with these tunnels though, you can very easily grab them from the bottom, pop them over here, weld them onto that block there, and you just kind of do that throughout the whole thing. So uh, it is a little bit time consuming. I did have uh, a couple issues building this, but eventually I sorted it all out and it's all measured and it all lines up. So pretty cool stuff. Make sure you check it out on the workshop. Now, I guess there's only one thing left to do guys, and that is play some Flappy Bird. All right, here we go. We're gonna get little Flappy Bird out into the playing field and we are gonna start moving some pipes. Here we go, guys, in three, two, one. Let's play some Flappy Bird. Oh boy, okay, here we go. Gotta be careful. Remember, the game, you know you lost if you just break the game. That is why you can put it on the lift. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's a very high. Okay, there we go. Wow, I'm doing really good. This is the best I've ever done. Okay, steady, no. Oh man, that was close. I did touch it, but I mean, this game is, if you if you totally break it, you can respawn it on the lift. Oh, and there we go. I made it. You know, I've only ever made it a couple times before I started recording this. Now, something that's kind of fun to do, actually, is uh, the whole game in reverse. Nope. Oh wow, I just kind of glitched right through that one. And there we go. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> this game can be pretty ridiculous, obviously. Um, it's, it's an all manual kind of stuff. I mean, there could definitely be some room for a whole bunch of logic and you could definitely make this game uh, something that is even crazier than this. I think I wanted to do this uh, just a little bit more as like a, a proof of concept for the mechanics of it anyway. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with the overall result. I bet you we could make an even longer pipe sequence, something that's even more difficult actually. Um, and uh, I'm sure you guys, though, if you check this out on the Steam Workshop, you will probably... Oh no, there we go. I have definitely lost there. That is... <laughs> okay, so that's how you know you definitely lost, guys, is you just totally broke the entire game. Poor little Flappy Bird is completely stuck. Uh, but like I said, guys, all you gotta do is pop it back on the lift. There we go. It is totally reset, and you can keep on flapping those little wings by playing some... Little Flappy Bird. I know a lot of people probably hate this game. I mean, I've never actually played it, but it's <laughs> ridiculous. So there you go, guys. That is going to be the episode for today. I want to thank you for tuning in to Endless Scrap Mechanic. Uh, I hope you are enjoying it. Um, so definitely let me know, guys, by hitting that like button or maybe even leaving a comment down below. I always enjoy reading those as well. Okay, it's totally broken now. Uh, so, of course, guys, thanks again, and I will be seeing you in the next one, so bye for now.